Recently released statistics from a 2014 poll show that 99% of all platoon leaders are in abusive relationships with their platoon sergeants. Conducted by the Military Times, the poll was nearly unanimous in respondents aged 18 to 38 that they openly condoned and engaged in behaviors with their platoon leaders that would be chargeable as abuse under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Not surprisingly, most platoon leaders are not coming forward either out of fear or simple ignorance of how NCOs should be treating them. Duffel TV was able to talk to one, however. When I first met my platoon sergeant, he was the ideal NCO. He was funny, nurturing, and supportive. He would even pick me up in the morning for PT and treat me to breakfast at the DFAC. I honestly couldn't have been happier. According to Vance, his platoon sergeant gradually became openly hostile and would randomly fly off the handle at the smallest remark. He became very demeaning. After years of therapy, I learned that he was trying to isolate me when he forbade me from going to the company commander's meeting or speaking with senior officers. He would rewrite my training schedules, tell me how everything I touched was a clusterfuck at best. I finally resigned my commission when I was held down by all of the platoon sergeants while they ritualistically shaved me. All of me. In light of the findings, top leaders are taking the issue very seriously. Newly appointed Sergeant Major of the Army, Daniel Daly, promised reporters he would do his very best to bring the level of abuse back up to 100% in keeping with the highest standards of the U.S. Army.